and being able to trust God for provision. And it's amazing because the word for provision is the same word for vision. And if you have a vision, then the provision for the vision is assured. But if you have no vision, well, the Bible's real clear. Where there is no vision, the people perish. So there always has to be a vision. Jesus was always casting his vision. He was always casting vision on his disciples saying, this is what it's like. You're going to do what I do. Matter of fact, you're going to even do more and greater than I did. And you're going to do these things and you're going to cast out devils. And he was constantly telling them that. And we only have two recorded instances where he actually sent them out on a mission by themselves. And yet he was constantly laying out the vision. And he said, now, when you go, don't take all this stuff. Don't take that. Don't take that. Don't take this other thing. He said, just go. And then he said, when they came back, he said, uh, when you left, did you take anything with you? No. Did you lack anything? They said, no. What was he trying to show them? And then the next time he sent them out, he said, okay, now you can take this and you can take that. But what was he trying to show them? He was trying to show them, if I send you on a mission, I'll pay for it. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of you. You can trust me. If I tell you to do something, you can trust me to take care of it. Now, believers, as believers, we should be people of vision. God gave us an imagination. Humans are the only species that has imagination, according to scientists. Now, I don't know if they know what they're talking about or not, but they say they do, so. And so we don't, according to them, animals don't really have imagination. I'm not sure about that, but I do know that Dogs dream. If you own dogs, you've seen them dream. They'll be asleep and do all kinds of weird little things and bark at something when there's nothing there and they'll bark and wake themselves up. So we know they can dream, but we don't know if they actually have imagination. We don't know if they have vision. Why? Because God put us as a type of being that can have vision, that we can see things that you can't see. And when you see things you can't see, that's called faith. And then God says, okay, I've given you a vision. Now, do you believe I can do that? Then start walking that direction. And when you start walking in that direction, now you have vision. And once you start walking, that's the faith it takes for the vision to come to pass. But along the way, the provision for the vision will be there. Why? Because provision, technically, if we run our write the word correctly today, we would call it prevision. Why? Because you take care of the, of the vision before, but you have to realize that you have to walk toward the vision, and as you go, the provision is there. God doesn't bring the provision to you, and you just sit there with it, and because that's what most people would do, they just sit there with it. But he says, no, head toward the vision. Look toward the vision. What, what is a vision? And then most people, honestly, it's sad to say most Christians don't have a vision. They don't have a vision of what God has for their life. They don't have a vision for what God has for how they live their life, even for their job or for the, what God has called them to do. And you have to realize that what your, your job technically might not be what God has called you to do. It might just be the way that God wants to take care of it so that you can do what he wants you to do. And so we look at these things, but bottom line, faith is the answer on these things. But not just faith like humans normally have faith, but faith in God. We are people of God. We're people of faith. And so our faith has to be in God. That if he gives us a dream, if he gives us a vision, and the key is you got to make sure it's God's vision, it's, that it's his dream that he gave you. Because a lot of people say, well, my dream is to, you know, be a movie star or be an actor or be a... Okay, depending on what kind of movies... Christian, okay, and then you got to figure out if it's really a Christian movie or not. But God can give you a dream. He can give you that vision. You just have to make sure it's a God vision. 